Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create two custom SAML applications in AWS IAM Identity Center. One will be LDAP for client VPN software and other will be a self-service portal that allows users to download their own client VPN software and client configuration file. Right. So without further ado, let's go to AWS IAM Identity Center. Right. It was previously known as AWS SSO. And from here, we will go to applications that we see in the left panel. And once we are in the application page, we will click on add new application, right? And from here, I will choose add custom SAML 2.0 application. And then I will go to next page. And from here, I will put some details, for example, uh, for display name, I can use VPN client, uh, which makes sense because this application will be for the VPN client, right? And I will leave everything as it is. And from very bottom, we have application metadata. So we will manually type our metadata values. So I will choose the first one and then I will provide application ACS URL, which could be http colon slash slash one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon three five zero zero one right and application SAML audience will be urn colon amazon colon web services colon client vpn right and once everything looks good i will go to next page by clicking on submit right so we can see our first application has been created now what i will do i will go to action and then i will edit attribute mappings so i will click on that and from here i will add few attributes the first one will be subject and it will be map to dollar then in curly bracket user dot email sorry user colon email right so that will be the value for subject and it will be formatted as email address all right and then we will do name and it will be mapped to the same thing so i will just copy and paste and then i will add first name that will be mapped to user dot given name and then I will add last name that will be mapped to user dot family name right and finally I will add member of that will be mapped to user colon groups, right? If everything looks good, I will save the changes. All right, now I will assign a bunch of users to this VPN client. If I go to users tab, I have created a bunch of users, as you can see here, right i have three users but if i go to groups i have created a groups called developer and in developer group i have assigned a user called dummy user all right so what i will do i will go back to my applications again and from the applications i will go to the application that i just created and now i will assign user but instead of assigning user i will assign a group the developer group that way whoever belongs to developer group they will be assigned to these applications so i will go to groups tab and then i will select developer right and assign users so that means whoever belong to this developer group they will be assigned to this application right so i just created an application for our vpn client 
same way if i go back to applications again i will create another applications for self service portal so i will click on add application i will select add custom summon 2.0 application and then i will go to next i will give a name to these applications for example it could be vpn client self service right i will leave it, i will leave everything as it is and i will go back to application metadata um, like before i will choose manually type your metadata values and i will provide scs url and saml audience right so scs url could be https colon slash slash self service dot client vpn dot amazon aws.com slash api slash auth slash sso slash saml right and saml audience will be as before which is urn colon amazon colon web services colon client vpn right so that's what you want and then click on submit so the application has been created and like before i will edit attribute mappings so the first subject will be mapped to email address so it will be user colon email and format will be email address then i will add name which will be mapped to user colon email then I will add first name, which will be mapped to user colon given name. And then I will add last name, which will be mapped to user colon family name. And finally, I will add member of, which will be mapped to user colon groups right if everything looks good i will save the changes and like before i will assign developer group to this application so i will click assign users and then i will go to groups tab and then i will select the developer group and i will click assign users and that way whoever belong to developer group they will have access to this application as well right all right so that way we can create application in i am identity center right in next video i will show you how to create identity providers from identity and access management console all right